Hey guys, what do you say we dig into this battery, see what's inside here. This is the uh, the LG RESU 16H prime battery. Get a box over here. Oops. Thought I stripped that one. Damn it. Yeah, screwdriver. Hmm. A little bigger screwdriver, I guess. Oh, I forgot one. How did I miss that? Like five packs, huh? This shell probably slides on here. Well, that back cover didn't yield too much. Let's um, let's go ahead and probe the connector here. 
see what kind of, if we can get any voltages off of that. <clears throat> That's convenient. All right. Make sure you can see that there. Hmm. All right, that's another, so ground is over here, negative, now we're going to do this. How about if I do this? One twenty five point eight point seven. 25.8 125.8 nothing there better put this on before somebody gets hurt here <laughs> Let's take a look at the connector over here on the DC to DC converter. So we got three reds, the end ones are green, then we got a yellow, red, and a black. Two green ones were the ones that had nothing on them. And then the reds are the positives. And then the black, red, and yellow were the negative side. Okay. <coughs> All right, let's see what's under this cover here. Mm, got a busman fuse in there. That's a uh, like 80 amps, 600 volt. All right, we're going to attack this thing from the bottom, see if we can get into the batteries here. That wasn't even tight. Yes. Looks like that's the magic door.
hopefully this will slide off now. Yes. Okay. All right, let's take a look at this thing. So we've definitely got five battery packs in here. That here. Temp sensor maybe, right there. See if I can probe some voltages in here. Twenty-five volts. All right. So basically, what we've got here, we've got got twenty-four times ten cells, uh, two hundred forty volts. And then the DC to DC converter is stepping that up to the the four hundred volts that the inverter needs. So I guess I guess we figured that one out. Here's the label I found inside the DC to DC converter. You can see in charge mode the output is 210 to 290 volts. So that 240 250 falls right in the middle of that range and then for discharge in the discharge mode when it's when it's um, supplying power to the inverter, uh, same thing, 210 to 290, and the output is 350 to 430. So I guess I guess that's what what they're doing. Um, one thing, if uh, if you guys that that are running the 48 volt batteries, the 48 volt systems, I guess if if you find some surplus. Uh, some surplus um, 16H LG batteries, you could easily reconfigure them to uh, to work with a 48 volt system.
All right, guys, I think that's about it for this one. If you like watching this kind of stuff, sure would appreciate a like and a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let me know down in the comments what you think, um, what you think of the battery. And then uh, if anybody can find any information on them, QR codes on the battery packs would be interesting. I, I couldn't find anything. Probably an in-house LG thing. So anyways, if anybody finds anything, let me know. And let me know in the comments what, uh, how the audio sounds on with the new mic. All right, I'll catch you all later. Bye.